The entryway in this home was clean and simple, but I thought I could use a punch of color to liven it up. What I loved about it was it had fantastic tile, great architectural bones, high ceilings, good lighting. I knew I wanted to add some color, but I wanted it to be a quick fix. So I thought I would tackle the door, which would be the perfect hit of color and would be a focal point at the end of the hall. I'm gonna lock this door so it doesn't hit me in the face. So even though this door is pretty old, it's not really that damaged. So all I need is a light sanding and a quick cleanup before I'm ready to paint. I'm just using a degreaser, which will take off any residual oil from finger marks. I'd like something blue to go with the floor. That might be too green. This too purple, this is too gray. I like these. I like that it's not your predictable blue. It's almost got a little bit of green in it. That's very nice. Rainstorm as well, that's beautiful. Almost like a deep jewel blue. I think I need to try it on the door first. I'll get these two colors. The first color I looked at was called Refuge. I love this gray blue. It was a bit more casual and had a touch of a country feel to it is really lovely and look bright in the space. The second color I was debating was Rainstorm, which was a rich, deep jewel tone. Again, perfect for a space with high ceilings and all this light. It also looked really beautiful with the gold hardware on the door. This is gonna be really difficult. I could pull off either color. Oh. I had to ask the homeowner to pick a color for this one and she decided to go with Refuge. You can tape this out if you're not skilled with a brush. I like that this paint is thick enough that it's not runny, but it's still thin enough that it gets into all the nooks and crannies. This paint is great for a front door because it is very durable and has stain blocking technology. All those hands touching it around the knob, wipe it right off. This color is looking really good already. When it came to painting, I chose Emerald Interior Latex Paint, which is paint and primer in one, and it went on very smoothly. Because it had such good coverage, I was done in no time. Well, that was really quick. Now I just need to let it dry. Painting the door was such a quick project, so I went ahead and got another color for a large console table, which was the perfect amount of surface for all of the family members to be able to drop their belongings when they come in. I used a Sherwin-Williams colored nugget, which was a nice vibrant yellow. Once the door dried, I was ready to style the entryway. It's always good to have a place to grab a seat when putting on removing boots in an entrance, so a little stool that tucks in right under the console is the perfect piece. I chose a long runner, which is necessary in an entrance, but didn't cover up all of the beautiful tile. The homeowner had this beautiful painting, which picked up on both the blue on the door and the yellow of the console, and another little piece of art. She had these birch trees in a black frame, which contrasted beautifully. And lastly, a hit of green. It's actually a very well-lit entrance, so I knew that they would be very happy sitting on the console table. This really wasn't a huge undertaking to give this entrance so much vibrancy and give it new life. I love that the blue on the door just makes the tile pop. It had a cornflower feel to it without being too sweet. It's beautiful with the hardware and it's the right amount of color for such a large space. The yellow I brought in on the console was the perfect complement to the blue door. I used a semi-gloss finish, but it also comes in flat, matte, and satin. And what I liked about the bright citrine is that it made the blue on the door feel a bit more modern. I love that I was able to maximize the impact in this room by painting two smaller elements and using two gray colors. It's colorful, it's welcoming, and it really was a fresh fix.